Right, so this GSA is nearly ready to go back to the owner. Uh, it's been in for a thorough restoration and you might remember on another video how bad it was. And we're, um, we're just uh, getting to the stage where we're just trying to iron out a few niggling faults with it. Um, as with any car you put that together, there's always a few little issues. We've had fuel smells in the cabin, uh, which we've done now. That was just um, fuel filler neck cracks, so we've done that. Um, and stalling, which is typical GSA. So we're working through that as well. Um, and I just wanted to send it up to um, have the emissions set up this morning and the car broke down on me. So I thought, well, rather than go any further, we get it back. So I got it back to the workshop. Um, but I didn't want to just look at it because I wasn't sure what the problem was. So um, what I've done is I've taken up the industrial estate where it's quiet and run it until it's broken down so I can at least diagnose it. Uh, I took the fuel pipe off and uh, there's no fuel coming up to the carburetor. Um, then it started to get some fuel coming up to the carburetor. So we've uh, put the pipe back on, got it back to the workshop and it's running okay. So I've just um, checked the points condenser and um, the connections and that's all okay. And luckily, just as I was doing that, the car failed to start again. So pipe off the pump, off the, off the carburetor and there isn't any fuel coming up. So I've checked the connection supplies in the fuel sender because you often get problems with the fuel sender pipes. I know it's new, but you never know. It might be a uh, pipe's loose and it wasn't. So I'm going to change the fuel pump now. Right, so we've road tested this car and uh, did about 10 miles in it yesterday and it's, um, it was fine. But this morning it broke down on me. Uh, so I got it back to work and I ran it up and down the road where it's a bit quieter uh, to get it to break down again. Luckily it did and uh, diagnosed that uh, the fuel pump's uh, playing up. Uh, anyway, got it running again, brought it back to work and uh, managed to get it to pack up again and I, I, was, um, I was right, it's definitely the fuel pump that's um, playing up. So uh, it needs a new fuel pump, so I'm going to change the fuel pump now. So what we're going to do is change the fuel pump. So the fuel pump is um, down here, we've got a 13 mil bolt, uh, sorry, 13 mil nut here to uh, to remove, but sadly the other side you can't really get to, so you've got to take the heater box out, which is only held on with three bolts. Get the heater pipe out of the way, so at least I can get a span around to back there. So that's the first thing, get the heater box out. So now fitted the new fuel pump in a in, uh, position. So we're now going to hope it's going to start up. Thank you. 